Oh yeah, guys. This is my new Pine Tails pillow. Now for all of you who have seen the Dreadlock pillow video, this is my Dreadlock pillow, guys. It is Pine Tails. It's actually locally based where I'm at, so I love this pillow so much, and I'm so glad they sent me on another one. And for me, I love it the most because it is local, but obviously they ship everywhere. But this time they sent it in a nice little bag. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, you guys will see why I call this a dreadlock pillow here in a moment. Let me just cut the seal. Now, feast your eyes on why I call this the dreadlock pillow. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Wow, this is a great sized pillow. I'm gonna leave a link to Pine Tails down below. Now guys, first off, the super durable bag is a nice touch. I was expecting a smaller pillow because this is the pillow I sleep with every night. Not only does it hold my head very well, but there's so many benefits that come with it. It's super breathable. This is bamboo material. So it's not gonna leave any lint or any buildup inside of your dreadlocks, what you'll get with like cotton or any other kind of pillow. This is a great pillow for your dreadlocks because you're not gonna run into any of those issues. Now I know a lot of you probably use a silk pillowcase. Don't use a silk pillowcase. Now I know for me, silk pillowcases kind of build up heat. This does not build up heat. This stays cool all night and it keeps your head in a nice position. It doesn't put a lot of pressure on your dreadlocks so your dreadlocks aren't gonna turn out flat. And overall, it's just a great pillow. A pillow is one of those things that you're spending most of your time of your life on. Now for me, I sleep six hours a night, but there's people that range from six to anywhere, maybe even 10 hours a night of sleep. Sleep. So about 40% of your life, you're gonna be on your head, obviously in bed. But this is their buckwheat pillow. I love it to death, and I'm really looking forward to see what this pillow is all about. First and foremost, it has a really great weight to it. Wow, it is a good size. Oh my gosh, that's so smooth. That's really comfy. Let's see what's inside. So if I zoom you guys in a bit, you'll be able to see what we got going on inside here. Oh, look at that. Look at these, so I'm gonna take one of these out. And this is what I truly love about Pine Tails. They do stuff with their pillows that I've never seen anybody else do. So take a look in there. That's what you got on the inside. It's such a nice, cool fabric as well. But you guys, this is what you have on the inside. It's a nice, foamy material. Now guys, this thing is super soft. Holy smokes. I feel like this is so durable too. Now the thing I'm noticing, and this isn't kicking off my glasses right away. I am going to be taking off my glasses though. Here are my dreadlocks out and about. Took my hair tie down. Now with first touch, it's nice and smooth. It's almost as if it would be silk. But let's read up on it and see what this is all about. But it is a nice touch. But this puppy right here is the Pine Tails Latex Sticks Designer Pillow. So this pillow is originally priced at $130. Right now they have it on sale for $59.99. So I know with the first pillow that Pine Tails sent me out, me and my wife are always fighting over it. We don't really fight, like not a fist fight, but it's like first come first serve with the pillow. She has elbowed me in the head and she said it was an accident, but then she, I woke up with her with the pine tails pillow. But I think we're all set now. I got mine and then she can have hers. <laughs> now, why should you get one though? So right off the bat, you will not find a pillow like this anywhere else. You just won't. Now, a huge thing that I like about this pillow and my buckwheat pillow is that it's fully adjustable. You can take out some of the buckwheat or in this one, you can take out some of the latex sticks and you can adjust it to your head or however you want to sleep or whatever is most comfortable for you. And I think the biggest thing attaching it to dreadlocks is it it's super breathable. It stays cool all night. It doesn't get hot. And I honestly think that's just the way that they created their pillowcases to be super breathable and to kind of allow ventilation and not create a bunch of heat. Woo. But if you do want this pillow, make sure to click the link down below. It is pinetails.com. So the cool thing about Pinetails, for me at least, it's actually in Arizona where they send these out. So when I order mine, I get it really quick. But either way, just get yourself one. And I'll try to show you a close up of this material. So you can see the material that we're working with. It's really nice and smooth. It's not like cotton fabric, what you would typically get on a pillowcase. So here's some benefits. Your hair is going to lock up a little bit quicker because it has a smooth surface and a cool surface because you don't want heat on your dreadlocks because what that's gonna do is it's gonna loosen up your hair. And another thing is if your head is heating up, it's gonna create oils and then at the same time, that's gonna loosen up your dreadlocks. So there's major things that you want while you're sleeping with dreadlocks. You wanna have a smooth surface, you wanna have a cold surface. Now with those two things, it's gonna help lock up your hair and help make sure that your hair is maturing. Because of course we can go in with a bunch of maintenance and do a bunch of stuff like that. But sleeping, like I said, I would say maybe like 30 to 40% of our day or lifespan at least. So I'll compare it like this. 
When showering, say if you showered with cold water on your hair, it's going to lock your hair up quicker versus using hot water. So having a breathable and cool pillow is major key. And I know they sent me out this new pillow, but I do want to appreciate the original pillow they sent me out. This is the Buckwheat Holes pillow. And this is really life changing because it really just supports your head perfectly. And this one is really cool, super breathable. And for me personally, I love the way their pillowcases feel because this is a bamboo, and trust me, it blew my mind the first time I heard it, but this is a bamboo pillowcase and it's totally washable so you don't have to keep on buying new pillowcases and you're pretty much set. Now, not only do they have the strictly latex pillows and the buckwheat pillows, but they also have some that are intertwined with both, with buckwheat and latex, and then they also have one that has buckwheat, latex, and lavender. But since I got this pillow, I'm really looking forward to tonight's rest. I'm gonna sleep really good. And like I said, I think I've had the buckwheat pillows for close to a year maybe. And I'm telling you, it changes the whole game when it comes to sleeping. And to take it a step further, it helps out your dreadlocks, I'm telling you guys. And if you haven't seen the first dreadlock pillow video, I'm linking it down below. And the reason I'm making a dreadlock pillow video, like I know it seems way off, but I'm telling you, you sleep about 40% of your life. So this is an important step of the dreadlocking process. Would you say 40%, 50%? Probably more, huh? Wait, you sleep a bunch when you're a baby, huh? We're about to find out. I'm gonna ask Alexa how long you sleep in your lifespan. Alexa, how long do people sleep during their life? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Terry Leeds? Alexa, what, how many hours do people sleep in their life? According to the National Sleep Foundation, the average adult needs around seven to nine hours of sleep per night to function at their best. Though some people can function on six hours of sleep. That's me. Newborns can require as many as 17 hours of yeah. sleep. Yeah! While school-aged children may need up to 11 hours of sleep. Holy smokes. This requirement can vary depending on age. Your ideal bedtime depends on when you must wake up. Okay, Al Alexa. Stop. By the way, you can but with all that being said, I want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with my hair. The frizz is being maintained. And that's one of those things for everyone out there. If you have frizz on your dreadlocks, know that it's gonna be there and it's just gonna get better over time. Frizz is one of those things that goes away with you know years of having your dreadlocks. So be patient. Don't think you're gonna get rid of frizz just by crochet hooking or palm rolling or twisting with gel or doing all these methods. Don't try and do that because you're not gonna get it to the way you expect it to be if you want there to be entirely no frizz by your own hands. But you can be patient and allow it to lock up on its own because that's what's gonna happen, trust me. And I'm telling you, another key thing that I'm actually making a video on, I'm doing 30 days of cold showers and I'm using bar soap on my dreadlocks, but you'll be able to see that video coming out real soon. So those are also steps that I'm taking to speed up the locking process and help maintain frizz. Because a lot of people usually run into that question or that problem and then arises a question of, how do I maintain the frizz or how do I get rid of the frizz? Just maintain it by being patient and it'll go away eventually. So you can easily see most of the frizz really close up, but I'm telling you, like this is stuff that goes away over time. My dreadlocks are mature, I've washed them already four times. Now guys, in today's video, I'm actually gonna do a question and I'm gonna be answering one today. So let's check it out. So this is actually a question that I got and I wanted to do a video on. So the question is, how many dreadlocks do you have? And I will count them right now. One, two, three. I know I got three in the front. Because I wanted it to be like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I know I'm not going to have many. So that's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, that's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, make it a quarter. So I actually have 25 dreadlocks. It's not a lot, but I think they look really cool. And these are dreadlocks that actually be pretty thick once they get really mature and I think that's gonna be really cool. I could have obviously done more, but when you do instant locks, they form a little different 
than if you were to you know twist your hair and then allow it to form over time because they would end up being thicker with that way but the thing about doing instant locks is it's easier to use a little bit more hair and a section versus doing you know less hair in a smaller section but you guys that's today's video like i said make sure to go to pinetails.com grab yourself a pillow make sure to get both of these because both of them are great and they're just perfect for sleeping but on that i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys do have an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and god bless